Hi there boys and girls, Bruce here and I'm going to talk about the one, the most important thing you need to think about when you're considering buying new gear or thinking about new gear. Now I know you've, you, if you're like me, that you've been online and you do, you read the reviews, you watch all the videos, you watch the videos I do hopefully. If you don't, subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of, a lot of reviews. Um, you go and check out some of the other channels, the great channels, and you get an opinion about a piece of gear. Now, that's all fine and well, and of course we're always going to do these. These things are really useful, and it's always really, really useful to hear other people's opinion on things that you're going to buy, and little pitfalls and things that you might not consider, or might not have thought about, and then someone else mentions something, you go, okay, that's really not going to fit in with what I want. But the most important thing, whether it be it a guitar, some software, a new pedal, whatever it is, the thing I always think is, it doesn't matter what it is, you need to be inspired by it. A good piece of gear for you, and this is what really should only matter, it's for you, it's not my opinion, it's not anyone else's opinion, it's for you. If you pick up this guitar, or this pedal, or this piece of software, and it inspires you to write and create music, then that is a great piece of gear. And that is probably one of the, the main things I would say you need to consider when thinking about gear is does it inspire you? Does it make it you want to put the instrument down? Does it make you want to miss wherever you've got to be? You've got to be at an appointment, but you've just bought a new pedal and you're just you've got lost in it. To me, that is the greatest thing. And a lot of the other bits and pieces may be important later down the track, you know, it's reliability and things like that. But rather than, you know, getting stuck and spending so much time online thinking about things, get your hands dirty, try and get access to the gear if you can, plug it in, pick it up, try it out. And if this is the kind of guitar or the kind of effects unit or the kind of software that makes you lose time, makes you want to write, makes you completely inspired, then that is the piece of gear for you. And it doesn't matter what I say, it doesn't matter what anyone else on the internet says, it doesn't matter what the guys in the shop say, that is what you should be focusing on. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we are trying to create, we're trying to be inspired, and we're trying to write great music. So, there you go. Thoughts below. I'm sure this is going to raise a few issues, but I'd love to hear what you think. But for me, the, the only thing you really should be thinking about, or the, the most important thing you need to think about when choosing a piece of gear is, does it make me want to play? Does it make me inspired? Hope you found that useful. I will catch you later. Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you're a guitar player, please do check out my guitar creativity book. You can see a link here. Uh, it's packed full, jammed full of different types of lessons, lessons which are going to get you thinking outside the box, thinking differently about the guitar, thinking about your approach to the guitar. Very much in line with some of the lessons I've got on my channel, so please do check out the book. Uh, and if you don't want to check out the book, then click subscribe and get more free content from me. Catch you later.